come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, where a movie talk show podcast comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not. In our quest for total world domination, which you can help us out with by going over to wherever you found us and hit that like or subscribe button or both <laughs> or the little bell. Right. If you're on yeah, YouTube, smash yeah. that bell. All of that stuff helps us get found <laughs> by <laughs> other folks like you. And these are the That's Internet Radio Superstars. Sean. Michaela. Holly. And I'm Colin. I'm Sean. Smash that bell, Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was mostly saying you because I know you know that because you watch a lot of YouTube. I right? mean, that is the th- yeah. that, is, that is the thing that people say on YouTube. Like, like you sound like a YouTuber and it triggered me. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Do we don't. need to add that yeah. to the thing every week? Yeah, 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 blame blame it on your kid. Okay, yeah. 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 I was like, kid. really, Sean? Come on. You should see some of the weird shit. Oh my yeah, god, kids are uh, kids, kids are today. Weird, man. Kids yeah. today. I don't get it. They're wait, wait, it's not old yeah. right off the top. Guys. I don't. You know what? I don't care. They're <laughs> fucking weird. It's true. I don't care anymore. No, I don't. They're don't, weird, and I'll tell yeah. them to their faces. Yeah. Well, we, we want to take you back to a time before YouTube because we uh, watched mm, a movie that was mm. chosen by Holly. Mm. Uh, I don't remember what we watched tonight. What do we watch tonight? <laughs> tonight we watched Johnny Mnemonic mm. dun, 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 dun. from the year. 1985. Uh, dun, dun, feels dun. like it's starring. <laughs> starring? Okay. Uh, Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. Yeah. It's directed new, by. New, wait. Keanu oh. Reeves. Oh. New addition to the Saturday oh, Night there we Show go. Wall there of Fame. Time. There we go. It's about time. I know, right? So yeah. thanks to MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Thank Freak Show sir. Wall of Fame. Yes, what were the other point two? Break. Point Break. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bill and Ted? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I was like, it's got to be Bill and Ted yes. during Brent's time yeah. travel yep. era. Yeah. Yep, we did that. So there you go. And directed by... Uh, Robert Longo. Who we would know from? REM music videos? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I looked up his IMDb yeah. right before we started this. I was like, oh, that explains yeah, a lot. REM music videos. I think it was like a Megadeth music video. Peace and out, this sir. is the only movie. Yeah. Um, An episode of <laughs> Tales from the Crypt. Yep. Yeah. But this was his single movie... Right yeah. here. No shit. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. he was an artist or something before the music videos, right? And that was how he got into so, music yeah. videos. Mm-hmm. And then into this movie, and then like his career went sideways. But you will be happy to know that he has rescued the movie after years. This is one of those Rescue. artists compromised visions that we watch. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> apparently. Yes. So there's a history to this movie, but uh, he has rescued it, and it will be available worldwide in a brand new black and white version now, in, it, like, next month. Is this yeah. the the Chinese cut, or is it this cut? Because there's says, a different version of this movie. There is yeah. a different cut, yeah. Um, it's Japanese. Japanese, it I'm Japanese, sorry. Japanese yeah. cut. Yeah, uh, they cut a lot down and changed. They edited a lot of stuff. For no, yeah. Dolph Lundgren, like <laughs> we got a lot of his stuff. A cut. reasoning, yeah, got cut out of this. Yeah. Yeah. But that was also like Dolph Lundgren wasn't even supposed to be in the movie. It was one of those things. The way I understood it mm-hmm. is that Robert Longo had a vision for this movie that was going to mm-hmm. be like a million and a half. Yeah, a shorter artistic film for yeah. a million and a half. M- yep, that's exactly and they right. couldn't get the money? Like, it's too little amount of money f- to get studios or anybody interested to finance it. So, so they ended big. up getting thirty million for it, <laughs> especially because like right. cyberpunk shit and everything was like Sony wanted to like they thought they saw opportunity in this and just were like we're putting all the money in it. Here's thirty million. I mean, sure. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Do you know who was originally cast in this movie? Or so, I don't uh, know if they were signed on. But originally it was Val Kilmer, mm. who, who left for who Batman. left for Batman. Good Forever. choice. <laughs> Good choice on his part. But that would have dated this movie so much more I know. <laughs> if it had been Val Kilmer. But well maybe done, he Val. could have. Yeah. But maybe he could have actually acted. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would have liked to see it. Honestly, I would have liked to see the Val Kilmer version. Oh, yeah. Because that'd be interesting. I'm kind of yeah. curious how that would have turned yeah. out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, but Robert Longo has said, you know, that uh, his vision was compromised. Mm-hmm. Some of the casting was forced on him. Dolph Lundgren. A lot of, and I guess the editing of the movie was like edited, you know, like. The producers took it away and they edited the hell out of my movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. I remember, uh, so William Gibson is. I was going to say, William Gibson wrote the short story that was based on, and he wrote the, he wrote the original screenplay, but he will say that. Um, once they chopped it up, it no longer looked like the movie that he wrote. So he doesn't even like take ownership. Was his quote? I think it was like uh, turning 
like the editor tried to turn Blue Velvet into a thriller, like a mainstream thriller. That's what happened to Johnny Mnemonic. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're all like, ooh, what <laughs> was right. the original yeah. version of this movie right. no. like? Don't yeah. want to see it. <laughs> if this is the thriller version? Well, this is the, you know, the mainstream, the commercial yeah. version this of... Uh, oh, no, I get it. Version. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't want to see the uh, hour and 45 minute art piece that this was beforehand. <laughs> No. Well, now you get to see the black and white version, but I guess it is this cut. Do I? Said. Yes. yes. And it had a different score. I think the you know the first version did. It had additional mm-hmm. footage. I think for the Japanese market. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Beat Takashi's in it. We'll get into all this. And uh, yeah, so the, his version th- that's coming out. I guess this is the direct the director's cut. Yeah, he says this is how he visioned it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So he touched on a name. All right. Let's go through this. So William yeah. Gibson. Uh, how do you know him? Do you know him? Uh, personally, no. Okay. <laughs> do you, Colin? I read, I actually read uh, Neuromancer. Oh, Did you? Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah, he's wrote a few things. But for some reason, the first line of it like stands out to me that the sky was the color of a channel TV ch- tuned to a static channel or a dead channel or something like that. I'm like, oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. I get what you're going for. He's uh, considered the father of... um. Like cyberpunk, I yeah. guess. Nice. Yeah. Uh, he came up with the term cyberspace, which, you know, I guess predates the internet. It was just, you know, the idea that you'd have digital technology all connected, you know, cyberspace. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you could, there was stuff going on inside mm-hmm. it, even though this is after Tron. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, so Tron kind of got there first. Sure. Um, but it was like, uh, yeah, he had like a whole series of books that were set around the sprawl, which kind of imagined that Los Angeles, I think like all California was turned into basically just one big, long, uh, overpopulated Blade Runner-esque future. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but as far as I know, he didn't actually own a computer. Yeah, he never, he, for as much <laughs> as he wrote about the internet, he never got on it, I think is what they said. He was never, like, got on it before he <laughs> wrote all these things about it. Yeah, and just kind of imagine, I mean, but it's a lot of the things that he came up with seems like it, uh, you know, proliferated through cyberpunk, you know, the idea that uh, there'd be, like, a massive um, Japanese... Uh, influence financially and like the rest of the world, you know, I mean, you know, like, well, I suppose Michael Crichton's rising sun or something, you know, mm. that the Japanese had bought, like their, their technology was just everywhere. Right. People speak Japanese as like a second language everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, body modification and people becoming, you know, having implants and stuff to increase mm-hmm. or, you know, alter, you know, humanity. Yes. Itself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, because he wrote, it was like Burning Chrome, I think Johnny Mnemonic was the story in. He also wrote that Mona. should be the title of this movie. That would be super cool. Burning Chrome? Burning Fuck Chrome. Yeah. Mona Lisa Overdrive is another one of his titles. Oh, I don't like, like that one. That's a pretty good one, too. Mm. Okay. No, no. And what that his, sounds like a screen name. Mona yeah. Lisa Overdrive? Yeah, it's it does. Like, or it's like a, a band? Yeah, that's yeah. a band. Yeah. That's yeah. a... That's a, that's a uh, 2005 rock band. Mm-hmm. I was say, it sounds like someone that would write into our show. <laughs> and I, yeah, it yeah, does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. Actually, and I'm just going by memory here. I think one of his stories called New Rose Hotel was made into a movie that had like Willem Dafoe and uh, um, Asia Arja Argento in it. Mm-hmm. And it was an mm-hmm. Abel Ferrara movie. So it was really huh. low tech. I mean, yeah, you wouldn't, it was didn't feel like a cyberpunk kind of thing at all. Right. And... Hey, this just came to me. William Gibson wrote. It's like he hacked his own brain. Yeah, and stuff's coming it's, back. It's coming now. back. He wrote, I think, like one of the first drafts of Alien Three. Oh wow! Oh, like, do you remember? Do you ever looked into like before they did the the wooden planet with all the monks, and that became you know prison planet with you know. Right. Mm-hmm. There was a version that was about I think Bishop and um, Michael Bean. You know, like they were. Like the the like Ripley was on ice the whole way through the uh, movie. Oh, wow. and it was them crash landing and having to deal with alien. Okay, so. I mean I'm up for that. I'd be yeah. up for that. <laughs> um, and so this is 1995. So we're getting mm-hmm. into a lot of when was the net? Oh, that 90, around 94. I was gonna say the net was before this. 93, 94. It? That's what, that was what I was gonna say. We've asked this question many times. Yeah. I know. I like, I'm, I I'll look at. I'm gonna like find it. I'm gonna say 94. Before. Yeah, I feel like that's right. The Hollywood's net. getting very interested in, uh, in 95. Same year. Oh. So this was the this is the year of the internet. Is it the rise is one more man this year too? Let's See, it feels like right. Out. That was right yeah. around there because Lawnmower Man's got to be right around this Lawnmower time. Lawnmower Man. I'm gonna say 92. 92. Yeah, Lawnmower Man. Lawnmower Man. 
And two. then, uh, well, what was Virtuosity? That was that like 96, 97. Okay. These so this the, is the yeah, 90s is the year of like, free, free, what do you think the internet will be? Free, and everyone getting it completely wrong. Free Jack is 1992. Free so Jack. yeah, we're in this. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, we could do a whole summer of like 90s cyberpunk 90s internet internet yeah movies. movies oh boy yeah. Yeah. i don't know because i we couldn't do more than one in a row yeah i'm, I'm good yeah. with one and then i'm just I know, like i, was like, I not, feel like we can do like one every six months yeah you know? yeah is this too close to virtuosity it's <laughs> it's it's just too i like the technology we live in now <laughs> and going back to <laughs> earlier blocky chunky stuff it like bothers me talking about the computer graphics yeah or whatever oh, yeah. i love that it's all like windows media oh, player God, graphics i love it i love to dip into it but i'm just like yeah. i can't i can't because live even here. you said even when we were watching this, even you said when he like goes into the net yeah you said that's what i pictured it to look like yeah. I, do, I do like the physical representation <laughs> of the internet yeah. and how because he gets in there what, and we all pictured it to look yeah. like right like There's I love that. manipulating crazy, it with your yeah. hands yeah. and opening stuff up. Yeah, like yeah, mm -hmm. that's how you Light imagine pointer. the internet works. Well, yeah. is this one of the first? It's more interesting than know. ones and zeros <laughs> flying through cables. But it has a lot of like virtual reality. Yes. And I yeah. guess which is yeah. like I don't know. Like, is this the first thing I remember where somebody? No, put maybe on. not. You know, like. But having like a, a viewer that they put a helmet. No, like a, Star yeah, Wars holiday special. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Park had it. They're walking through the thing. And through the lab earlier on, the guy's got goggles on and gloves, and he's got a DNA strand in his yeah, hand. Yeah, right, That right, dress, right, Jurassic right. Park has that. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yep. so. so virtual reality is kind of like on the fringes, and mm -hmm. this is like, we're getting... I'm not exactly sure how the technology works in this movie, but I guess we'll get there. Uh, okay, <laughs> so well, what is... Uh, what is well, I guess before mm. I even ask what Johnny Mnemonic is about, mm. this movie starts off with a crawl. Which explains to you the world that you're about yeah. to see. Yes. It is. It explains a whole other movie, basically. Like I'm, this, the whole all this content could be a movie. Well, that's my question. Did you get all the shit that was in that opening thing? A, was it relevant at all? B, didn't you get all that information from the movie okay, itself? Okay, and C, <laughs> did anyone else not read the whole thing? <laughs> yeah, I, I had a hard time keeping up with I it. Did too. I, 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 was the, like, I read the whole thing. I, do I remember it? That's a different yeah. question. I did read the whole thing. I kind it, of just lost interest. <laughs> I mean, it gave you like it gives you the yakuza. It gives you uh, that there are people who yeah. travel around, who couriers who you know jack in, get uploaded, and have to download and all yeah. that stuff. It's uh, considering how this movie starts, it's a good primer for it. I think. Okay, I'm always curious about this because when I see a crawl in the front of a movie, I'm like, "That's a studio we're missing, note. right? We're missing yep. something in the movie." Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, we need they to didn't crawl explain something. <laughs> to explain yeah. it. Yep. Now we I don't know. Sure, we played this sure. for test audiences and they didn't get it, so right. we're sure. going to put which, a crawl. Which I think, like, yes, I think without the crawl, you'd be a lot more <laughs> you'd be a lot more confused getting into this because you're like, okay, "Okay, he's going to them. He's going to load up." Yeah, really? I think this is the other cut of this movie. These scenes. Like, did they just chop this no, part off and then put a stuff, scroll in? I think that's in the scroll is, like, if you watch the movie, it's like all that stuff's there. You get that there's, mm -hmm. like, corporations are in control, that a courier is a guy who's got a, you know, a hard drive in his brain mm -hmm. that he can upload stuff into. Yeah. Uh, the, I mean, the, you know watch this movie, right? Like, I am, can imagine they, they were just like, all right, we need to... If nothing else, we need to get people ready for what's coming for the rest right. of this hour and a half. You know what, though? As someone who lost interest halfway through the halfway through the crawl, mm. I don't think it's necessary. I think you're right. I think I think they cover it enough. Because it's a chase movie. Yeah. Who's chasing them? The bad guys from Pharmacom, and they want the stuff that's in his head. And mm. like, I get that there's Yakuza. They work for Pharmacom, yeah. and there's the low techs, but I don't think they're ever yeah, called low Yeah, there's a lot of confusing stuff in this movie, but I don't think it's because of... I don't think it's the crawl. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, I guess the crawl just gives you like the specific, like it gives you names and maybe some small details, but which you, like you said, you probably don't need. Probably don't like, need cause it. if I didn't know they were called the low techs, I would have got it. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. So Not that is true. So who is Johnny and why is he mnemonic? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Johnny is Keanu Reeves is Johnny. Just Johnny. Um, as just he Johnny. says. And he has had part of his brain removed and in place is like a storage. He's basically like a human computer. He's storage. a human hard drive. Yeah, he's a storage, human hard drive. Yeah. He must have been hard up because it doesn't seem like he enjoys any of this. Um, you know, rumor has it is they just like mysteriously left this script on his doorstep. That's and, what I hear. <laughs> and he was intrigued. 
Yeah, if somebody abandoned it on his doorstep. He was intrigued. And yeah, that, that is that's, the urban legend. That's, that's, the, that's the myth of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it seems like that's almost as mythical as somebody else signing his name on a contract, and then we get the watcher. Yep, yep, exactly. <laughs> yep. Stay tuned for that. Yeah, stay tuned for that story and that movie. Yep. Well, he has. He must have like an interest in the subject matter because I mean, sure. this predates the Matrix, right? And we say, get into the Matrix, which is like yeah. I was like, uh, it's like a pregame for Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, William Gibson created the, he called it the Matrix. Oh, oh nice. And the Wachowskis appropriated that for their cyberspace. And then, wow. yeah. Keanu Reeves also plays a character in a video game called Cyberpunk some yeah. year yeah. where. 2077. Yeah, yeah, where yeah. he is, uh, he has uh, implants mm-hmm. in his brain yeah. and all that. Mm-hmm. So, so he's he's, he seems to like these yeah, ideas. I think he likes it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So. Can you uh, imagine having, just having a conversation with Keanu Reeves? Maybe he's just fucking out there. <laughs> He does like in his not Dan Aykroyd like, out yeah, there, yeah. but out there. Yeah. So, his, but still a good man. Well, his goal. So, and I don't think he's had part of his brain removed. I think he removed part of his memories. Mm-hmm. Like they're still there, but he can't access them because I he mean, has his same. hard drive shoved in his. Yeah, head. that's right. what I was getting. At. And got shoehorned in there, according to yeah. Henry Rollins. They're Henry removed, Rollins is also in this movie. Removed his childhood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's and the part so, he gave up. What do you say? Yeah. I had to drop some memory and. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and she was like, "What?" And he was like, "My childhood." And the way he said it was so nonchalant. Like, <laughs> yeah, but he also doesn't. Doesn't he want it back? Like a full yes. reboot and restore? But he doesn't seem like he wants it throughout the rest of the movie. Like he, he mentions that his childhood got taken away, and it's like nothing I'd really want to remember anyway. Like, he well, would get that he back. says that. Yeah, because I think that that line runs contradictory to like his whole thing. Yeah, like, yeah it, it does. seems like he wants it out of his head so he can you know have his childhood back, and he wants to do one last run. Well, yeah, it is the, the one last run of take yeah. this thing out. But he says to her, like, you know, maybe there was nothing worth remembering it because he's mm. saying it from the point of view of somebody who's done it. He can't remember it. And right. You're like, well, maybe the, maybe I did they it didn't. because I didn't want to remember it. But now he True. does, you know, because mm-hmm. it's like and I always wonder about that. You know, it's like if you take out your childhood. How does that alter your personality? It turns you into a fucking robot, Colin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that what he's going for in his performance? I don't think I, so. I don't. I don't think to me, this is no different than like any other Keanu performance I've ever seen. Like to me, I feel like that's just how he is. I don't think think he's he's a little, I think he emotes a little more in speed. I mean, speed. Well, speed's one of his better ones, Yeah, but this is probably par for the course for Keanu. He's pretty emotionalist in most movies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he has outbursts and stuff like that in this, but there's at the beginning, there's like a very robotic feel yeah. to the when character. he's talking, especially when he's doing that part where he's talking right to the camera. He's talking mm-hmm. to Udo Kier on the video phone, but he's mm-hmm. talking to us right to the camera. Yeah. And it's like the bottom half of his face is doing all the stuff, but his eyes are just not yeah. conveying <laughs> emotion. Dead, dead eyes. Yeah, like just dead eyes. But then he's just talking like. <laughs> and he moves Ugh. to like a mark and then he turns like a robot. Yeah. He makes all these hand gestures that are very, you know. Could super controlled, yes, you know, because I guess this is what he does. He's like a high end because this costs a lot of money, I guess, to uh, to have this uh, piece of hardware put in your brain. Sure. So he's a high end courier, yes, dealing with you know, he likes his hotels and his uh, room service and his laundered shirts and his ten thousand yeah. dollar a night hookers, mm-hmm. yes, mm-hmm. He, which yes. is where we find him at the beginning of the movie. But then he's given a job by his uh, contact, Ralphie, yes, again, Udo Kier. Mm-hmm. Who Saturday just, a, free lovely, show just a lovely voice. Yep. <laughs> like he could I don't know, just his accent. Spence like I told Colin there in the middle of like he I could listen to him read me a book for bedtime. Oh, it's funny because I was watching Blade last night and I was just like, I love him. He's just <laughs> delightful. <laughs> he is. He's he's good. Like he's good calm. He's good crazy. He's good. <laughs> I know. Udo here for more movies. Well now God knows how old he is. Yeah. Um is he still about well, yeah. Uh, I'm sure he is. He's still in movies. Um but um so he gets a job and goes to a hotel, this is in Beijing, uh, to meet these pharmacists, gangsters. They're all armed. They're in a hotel. Like, this reminded me of the Ghost in the Shell movie. The remake a little bit. I, yeah. yeah. I thought of it, too. Yeah. Which is mm-hmm. also, like, specifically referenced in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think this came before. Well, see, Ghost of the Shell, the original, the, the whole manga and all that was from this era. Like, yeah. this mm-hmm. is just what was going on in the world, this yeah. whole like technology thing. Um, so, what is he uploading into his brain? Um, or what's is, the risk? What happens right, here? Right. So, he is uploading 320 gigs of data. How much space does he have, Holly? Available. 320. Oh, no, available. Like oh, in available. His head. 
doesn't he have like only 80? Like yeah. he can only hold yeah. 80. Yeah. He's yeah. like, I got, I lo- and they, he declares it like, it's, I love how these, he's yeah. like, it's a huge number. He's like, holy shit, 80 gigs in his head. <laughs> yeah. It's like, wow. But yeah, he can apparently hold 80 gigs in his head and that's his limit. Otherwise you start getting into seepage. Mm-hmm. Right. Synaptic seepage. Mm, yes. Yeah. Because he has it. That oh, that's sounds right. like an album. <laughs> because the, the implant has or a been disease. wet wired into his brain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Like that. Gross that's not, that's phrase. Less yeah. wet wired. Let's yeah. stop saying those words. Yeah. Gross. So he has 80 gigs to work with. Right. He, he uses a doubler, which I like. I'm like, okay, right. so that's, yeah. Uh, to expand it to like 160. Mm-hmm. And then, right. he, then they're like, well, you got to, it's 300 gigabytes. He's like, that's no problem. I'm like, how does this work? Right. I right. can't put more right. shit on my hard drive. The right. size of the hard drive. Half the yeah. time you get within like five, six gigs and your computer's and like, like, hey, yeah, they're like, no. no more. Like yeah. you're already get cutting it too close. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Like he should have, I think in accordance with this, I think he should have deteriorated more over the movie. Mm-hmm. Like I kind of like that he's getting the bags under his eyes and mm-hmm. he's going a little crazy, but I think he should have, like, there should have been way more of that. Yeah, I agree. Going along to show I that. That's, I mean, Well, this is like, this is a classic noir setup, right? You got the guy with the poison in him. Actually, this is a movie, a DOA, right? Where the guy's mm-hmm. been poisoned. He's got like 24 hours to solve his own murder. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's yep. a countdown clock has started yes. because apparently, like you said, synaptic seepage is going to occur after 24 I want to know how that, again, it's like seepage of what? Like... Bits and bites are going to run out into his mm-hmm. into his brain. So I, I assume it's like overloading a power circuit, right? Like yeah. it's just yeah. going to shut down. That's I think, I but I think that's happening. the visual you have to see because we see later the kind of the the pathways in his brain when they show like the scans and all that stuff. So all the information's in there. I think it's just it's literally just seeping out into his regular brain. Yeah. Like I can see it in my head, and it's it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's it's like a visualization of the internet, but it's his brain in my mm-hmm. head. Mm-hmm. Well, these guys, this meeting, right after he gets this thing, there's like some weird code deal where like he has to imprint some mm. kind of, this is the mnemonic device, I guess, yes. specifically these images that are the key code to download. Three specific file. images that, yeah, that he's got to remember or that, um, so what is it? He, they flash into his brain they somehow, yeah, they link and it, it, with the de- it melds the data. with the data. So that's becomes the key to it. Mm-hmm. In order to unlock it, and that gets sent to wherever he's going. They're the faxing destination. it. They are yes, literally they're faxing. Yes. Fax we the, have fax the three mm-hmm. images. I can to Newark, upload New three hundred and twenty gigs of information to someone's brain, <laughs> yes. but you have to fax this shit to right. the other place. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then, he, then he's going to go there and presumably get it downloaded. But unfortunately, that's when the yakuza strike and break mm-hmm. into the hotel room and kill everyone right. and fuck up the. The The download, the facts. (laughs) So he ends up with one image, and then there's Mm -hmm. one that's torn in half, and the bad guys have the other one, and off we go. Mm -hmm. Uh, Which which doesn't add up at the end, the three images, to me, right? Well, one image was the uh, cartoon superhero. Yep. Yep. Uh, One image was, I don't remember. It was uh, like a playground or something. Something like that, and yeah. the third image was a woman's face. But it wasn't when they took the three pictures, was it? I think she was breaking into the transmission. At the time? At the time, okay. and they caught it that way. Gotcha. Because okay. that's going to be a, like a whole other ball of wax. Right. Mm-hmm. There's a okay. lot going on. <laughs> this movie has a lot. Many balls movie. of wax. Yes. <laughs> so Johnny returns to the... Well, he, uh, there's a bunch of... Not Kung Fu, because this is before The Matrix. Yeah. So right. there's a fight scene in the hotel room, and there's many machine guns, and there's a bad guy who has a mm-hmm. cool fucking weapon. Yeah, it's like a piano wire, but it's a laser. Yes, yeah. it's so cool. I w- it's this really is- cool. Right? I would have thought it, uh, maybe the, Q- the Yakuza is just holding on to this technology and using it for themselves. Because I'm yeah. like, if this exists, this should be used for a lot more <laughs> yes. things than, than what it's being used for. Because it's like the ultimate like silent killing weapon. Right? You know, right? like you yeah. could uh, you could ninja murder so many people with this. Right? You just come right. up behind them and just... And, it, on the and next, it's boom. a thing that's on the end of his thumb with like a cloth at the yes. end of it that he can grab and whip out. It's yeah. so discreet. It's <laughs> it like, is. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's like um, when in Lethal Weapon 4 when Jet Li had the rosary that turned into the thing that was uh, trying yeah. to kill people. It's kind of like that, but with lasers. Yes. And it like goes through doors and locks. And yeah, it's, it's, it's so a multi-tool. Right? Yeah, it's like, yeah. a, it's like a little lightsaber. Yeah. Like, how come everybody doesn't have this? Yeah. Right. Yeah, this Maybe you gotta be like, you know. That's what I'm saying. The Yakuza has the technology much like Looper. Yeah, they, yeah, exactly. Much yes. like they control like the time Looper. travel technology. This movie did remind me of Looper a little bit. Too, did it? A little like bit, that. yeah. How yeah. mm-hmm. dare you? How well, dare you make fun of Looper like that? Okay, I'm just, just some of the yes. story beats and yeah, yeah. the people involved. 
and because technology. yeah, and and eventually we're going to move into the. I guess you know we move from uh, Japan or sorry China and Beijing, mm-hmm. which is. Well, it looks like there's riots taking place in the street. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, NAS is going wild. Is okay, that why? Okay, so this yeah. is also like, so what is NAS? <laughs> uh, it's, uh, ooh, you, uh, God, it's, fuck me to try and remember the actual name of it. It's a neurolo- It's a, it's a, it seems like it's a neurological disease everybody's getting from the... Um, technology the, overload. Yeah, technology overload, all the waves in the air and yeah. all that stuff. It's, it's making like, people sick. It's, it's like everyone... Gives you the black shakes. Yeah, it's, everyone's getting the shakes. It's like everyone is they like, have the DTs, on, on drugs. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Which I, I suppose, right? It's like he prefigured social media. <laughs> so that I gotta yeah. have it. At some point, yeah. Keanu Reeves was like, I have to get online. I need a computer. Yeah. Like, wow. He screams that. <laughs> yes. That is, yeah. It's, it's pressure. <laughs> there were also like TVs in the form of a cross, which. Yeah, you know, that was yeah, entertaining. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot in this movie that I'm like, well, they're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> well, right. Yeah. <laughs> And it's and it's wild considering this guy like wrote this yeah. stuff and oh, went, it's like I've never been on the internet but I'm gonna yeah. tell you what yeah, it is. Yeah. Right. Did we mention that this movie is supposed to take place in 2021? Oh right, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. After, the, yeah. after the title card, the next thing that comes up is the internet, comma 2021. Yeah. <laughs> this movie takes place in the internet in 2021. Right. It's like oh, I'm yeah. gonna love this because it's always fun to see like what do they think was gonna happen where, is, where we were gonna end up. Turns out it's much stupider than it, in real life than it is in this movie in 2021 on the internet. <laughs> yep. I imagine if you stepped five feet to the right, you would run into Demolition Man people. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like it's, it's right similar. there. Well, they're over yeah. in Los Angeles. Oh, right. Yeah. This is what's yeah, going right. on. It's very true. This, this is the East a, Coast. Yeah. yeah. Very true. Sure, LA is a lot cooler. I like to think this is a shared universe. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, the whole. The, every, it's a dystopian world, at least where the movie takes place. Yeah. Uh, everything looks like the 90s. I mean, the worst version of this is Super Mario Brothers, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, but this is like the underground from Demolition Man. Or, mm-hmm. Yes, uh, it's all, oh man, another movie in the multiverse. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. Those countless 90s films where it's just, it looks like there's just trash everywhere. Yes. And, you know, and there's the, always like the underground people that are actually the good guys. Yeah. 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 Burning always. is a thing. <laughs> in like all it is. Movies. Yes. Yep. Burning trash cans as far as the eye can see. Yeah. Yeah. Fields of them, yes. yes. <laughs> How so, else will you know it's a, a po- post-apocalyptic future? Right, burning trash like, oh, can. That's no the short end. Yep. Burn stuff in trash I think can. it is, right? That's just like, the, yeah, that's mm-hmm. what you yeah. do visually if you need to. Mm-hmm. I get it. Okay. Yeah, if a scene opens on a burning trash can, you're like, all right, got it. <laughs> I know exactly what this world is like. Right? Yeah. Yep. So then, uh, so he goes to Newark and he meets with Ralphie and <laughs> Ralphie double crosses him. And so now he's on the run. Um, right? Because mm-hmm. well, he was on the run already, but now he's on the he run. He runs from a lot of different parties in this movie. Yeah, there's a yes. lot of people after. But he meets uh, his ally in this world. Who is? Jane. Who is played by? Is that Dina Meyer? Dina Meyer. Yeah. Yeah. In her first yeah. movie. Her first feature hmm. film. This was before Starship Troopers? Yep. And then when she done is, Saw? This... Saw. Birds of Prey, that TV show? That was in the Batman things. world? I'm sorry. She's Oracle. Let's sorry. show some respect. This is the teacher that Brandon had an affair with on 90210. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very oh. much. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so she is uh, like, I can't remember. Was she a biogenetically enhanced or bio cybernetically enhanced uh she wants to be a bodyguard she does yeah. and i think she is she's enhanced but no one's faster than me she says yeah but she's I like do, too jacked up i do kind of love that the bodyguards in this are women and jacked up um um wasn't the one uh, like drag queen drag yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I love I, it too. I kind of love that. <laughs> yeah, Ralphie's uh, crew. She's <laughs> auditioning for Ralphie. Yeah, and Ralphie's she wants like, a job. well, this is, I guess, what we'll find out about the NAS, the tremor, because she can't hold her hand still. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, she's yeah. juiced up. Mm-hmm. But she yeah. ends up saving Keanu's life because they're gonna they're gonna cut his head off because that's really all they need, right? The, the whole the goal is we're just gonna take his head off and cryogenically freeze it, and mm-hmm. then somewhere down the line we'll extract sure makes sense this stuff from his head. And she breaks in there and he says, "I'll pay you fifty thousand dollars." And you know, okay, she's working for him, busts mm-hmm. him out, and then they go off. We go <laughs> again. <laughs> okay, so the bad guy, Which I one? think. So there's a right. <laughs> right, there's like three bad guys yeah. in this movie at least. Okay. We're supposed to be told that there is the top bad guy. Okay. Who is played by Takashi Kitano. Mm-hmm. Beat Takashi from Japan, who is also in 
uh, Battle Royale. Mm. Oh, so yeah. Right. Years later, right. he became kind of famous, like, during this, like, 2000s era video discovery of Japanese cinema. Mm -hmm. And it turns out he's, like, a huge director in Japan. And at some point he got, he was in a motorcycle accident, paralyzed half his face. So that's why, he, you know, has a, a like a facial tick now. Mm -hmm. Uh, he also played the blind swordsman Zadowichi. Oh, I think we nice. talked oh, about yeah. in a remake, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's and and he's in the Ghost in the Shell remake, oh. which is also it was like, uh, were you in that because you were in Johnny Nemo? Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> it's all connected. It is all. Connected. So he's the top guy who I think represents Pharmacom, mm -hmm. the company that came up with the cure for NAS, which mm -hmm. they're not telling anybody. This right. is what. The scientists stole from them and have now uploaded mm -hmm. into Johnny's head. Am I right on that? Yes, yeah, I think so. Yes. Yeah. Best I can tell. I, I yes. think he's. I got the impression that he's the head of the Yakuza and Pharmacom. Like somehow the Yakuza got into Pharmacom. So, okay, then who were the guys sending off the information? Just random guys who stole that information were, from Pharmacom? They were Pharmacom uh, defectors. De right, that's right. Said, they did say yes. that. Defectors. You're right. Yeah, because yeah. Pharmacom wants to keep, the, even though they found the cure. Oh, yeah. Just, you, can, you make more money treating it than curing it. Yep. Again. Again, prescient. <laughs> so. Not far from the not even Not even prescient. This, was going, this has been going on for way more than... <laughs> When this movie yeah, came out, I mean, I don't know because what obviously saying. that's why they they made it. Yeah. They're like, man, eh, corporations are already trying to screw everybody over. So there's him who you know, there's a whole subplot about like how he lost his daughter recently to NAS or something yeah. like yeah. that. Okay, probably then, cut from the movie. Bad guy number two is I think the head of the Yakuza yeah. who that works for Beat Takashi at Pharmacom. Yes, yeah. this Although, makes sense. At some point, this is what's bugging me. When uh, when Johnny finally confronts uh, Beat Takashi, he's mm -hmm. like, I, you're Pharmacom, I presume. And he answers, not really. That's uh, why I'm saying I think he's I think he's head of both. Like, OK, I, I, I think he's connected to both. Has he killed the head of Pharmacom? And then he's like puppeting his body and video transmissions to Johnny at some. <laughs> yeah, point. I do wonder yeah, who what that, was that, I all about. Who that is. Yeah, because <laughs> Johnny's calling Pharmacom going like, OK, man, we got we can meet up and make a deal. Maybe but not. it turns out I, yeah. that that guy doesn't actually exist or he's dead. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think it's one of those, like, controlled by the mob situations. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And maybe, yeah, the guy he's puppeting is a front for that whole thing. Then there's a third There's a third bad guy, and that is the street preacher. Uh, Dolph Lundgren. Dolph fucking Lundgren. Who knew that Dolph Lundgren was going to be in this movie? What I did. I <laughs> no. I, I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course you did. <laughs> no, I was just well. Uh, and how does he look in this movie? Well, his entrance into this movie he is does. He's he's Jesus. <laughs> he starts off as like a video infomercial that we like go into, like that whole yeah. There's a whole scene where he's holding the cross up on the video phone and saying the prayer. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Because Takashi Kitano calls him and is like, "I need you for something." Mm -hmm. Like. You know, are they sinners? You know, yep. holds up the cross knife mm -hmm. that he's got. <laughs> yeah. So who who is the street preacher and what like what's his deal? He <laughs> is he an assassin. He's an assassin. He's a hitman. <laughs> but he's almost but he's all also, robot parts. But he's also like super he's religious. <laughs> super religious. They said he's had so many implants. Yeah. He's like yeah. tons of implants, which is why I thought he was getting up at the end. But yeah, he that was pretty was funny. <laughs> So he's like the muscle. He's the big, formidable, the bruiser. He's the like the Kurgan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. going to come after yeah. Johnny. Yeah. And while he's Johnny's Jesus Kurgan. Yeah. Jesus Kurgan. Yeah. <laughs> so it was somewhere in here because I'm like, okay, the first, the setup to this movie, the first act, which maybe like extends a little bit, you know, because you have to get Dina Meyer into it. And then once you get the two of them together, I'm like, all right, I mean, this movie's kind of working, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, it's not bad. And then all of a sudden, uh, we get video transmissions from uh, this lady on a TV. Yep. And I'm like, yeah. oh, I can feel it slipping. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like a car on the edge of the cliff, and like those front two wheels are starting to tip over a little mm -hmm. bit. And you're like, oh, well, we, can oh. Still, we can still fix this, yep. can't we? Yep. But those front wheels are tipping. All right, all right. Yeah. yeah, stop the movie. Nobody move. Everyone start backing up. Yep, yep. yep. And then that lady, it's that that, that lady, lady. Is, that lady is the dog walking on the board in Beetlejuice. That yeah, sends the car into the, <laughs> yeah. the street. Yep. So who is this uh, disembodied head on a TV? 
because she's, she's the, the head, the she's former the former head of, head of Pharmacon who that downloaded her consciousness and melded it with the system of yes. Pharmacon, yeah. which is she's that, a ghost in the machine, as they say. Right. Isn't that not the plot of that Johnny Depp movie? Yeah, Transcendence. Yeah, is that he dies yeah. and his consciousness goes into like his company computer? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All all connected. All, I mean, I Tron that basically did that again, right? <laughs> yeah. Like in the yeah. So she's uh, basically made herself Jarvis for yeah. yeah, yeah, but not in a fun way. No, no not a fun, like a, a fun haunting. Or, or it's like she's haunting way. the computer she more than anything. She's, she is, she's, yeah. she's the ghost in the computer. Yeah. yeah, this is a weird addition to your movie because I yep. don't know that there's anything that her character does that contributes in any meaningful way that you couldn't have done in another way in right. this in this movie and been right. less goofy because yeah. basically she appears right. to takashi or sorry uh, takahashi is his character's name yeah and you know appeals to him about his daughter and like he's doing the wrong thing she shows up to johnny and says yeah. you know basically what you're carrying is super important to the whole world uh and he's just like who the hell are you <laughs> yeah I think she's the real Jesus. And she come, She appears to Ice-T, who's also in this movie. Oh, yeah. Ice-T <laughs> I know everything we just said. <laughs> the, uh, yeah. Dolph just, and just, Ghost just. in the Computer. It's a lot. <laughs> but guess what? This movie keeps going. It doesn't, it does, care. It doesn't are, care if you're keeping up with it or not. Because there are two Dolphs in this movie. <laughs> yes, That's, there sure uh, is. Yeah. <laughs> um, there sure is. So who does Ice-T play in the movie? J-Bone. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember Dennis Leary and Demolition Man? That's yeah. 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 What year was yeah. Demolition? That was 93? Yeah, 93. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but they're all the, going to do he's this. the head right? of the they'll Lost Boys, yeah. as it were. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who lives in heaven, mm -hmm. which yeah. I like the idea of. It's mm -hmm. kind of fun. Well, what is it? Heaven is like they took a sea bunch world. of... Uh, <laughs> what? Sea World. <laughs> I mean, basically, yes. It's like they took a bunch of uh, uh, railway cars mm -hmm. and... and uh, Welded them to the bottom of a it's like dilapidated ship, shipping bridge. Shipping containers. Yeah. Shipping containers. Shipping yeah, containers yeah. Uh, set up underneath a bridge. Mm -hmm. which it's is the Brooklyn cool. Bridge, right? Is yeah, it the remnants right. of the Brooklyn Bridge? Yeah. Yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah. So that means there was like a World War Three or yeah. something, right? The Brooklyn Bridge is in half. Yeah. yeah. They've welded all these things to the bottom watch, of it. Uh, Dark Knight Rises? This is how this, oh, this is, yeah. is, how so this is also in our universe. Right? Yeah. yeah. This is Gotham. Yeah. But they also say it's a low-tech community. That's yes, what makes these, it heaven. These are is the low, that it's yes, these are the low tech. But low tech, yeah. low tech for the listener at home is L O dash T E K because mm -hmm. it's the nineties. Yep. That's how you did everything. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's also what makes me cry. What was that? <laughs> that do you remember when William Shatner wrote that series of was it Future Tech? What was it called? It was some Tech War. Was it Tech oh, War? No. Oh, no. Sounds, oh, I don't know, know what you're talking about. I'm not up on <laughs> William Shatner wrote like a series of books. Well, with somebody else, I'm sure. Well, I think okay. it was Tech War. And I mean, there's a bunch of... Them. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm sidebar. Uh, so Go to your local bookstore and look for Tech War by William Shatner. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Otherwise, yeah. I'm like Bookstore, to... now go to conventions. Yeah. <laughs> That's not oh, going to be in bookstores. <laughs> um, so how they got these shipping containers up there still boggles our minds, but yeah, they're all welded together and this is their community that they live in under the bridge and mm -hmm. they have anti-personnel devices, which are like at some point they say we should drop a bug on him. I thought he said bomb, but it was bug. bug. Did he say yeah, bug? Oh, okay. Is he, he dropped an exploding Volkswagen bug. Yeah. 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 This is their they defense a, system. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally, <laughs> they just you know, and the thing yeah. falls out of a okay, um, yeah. <laughs> car bombs. So early on, the way that these characters all get together is uh, well, Kenneth saves Ice T at some at one point. Baldy, yeah. Baldy was earlier on in the movie. This is one of the Yakuza. Yeah, he escapes this guy from the. The first place we were at. After Ralphie's crew, like, and then Ralphie is ejected from the movie <gasps> unceremoniously. Oh, yeah. I know, it's very sad. I was yeah. very sad. He, he got gets, sliced up. Yeah, with but then the, we got the Dolph. razor whip. Mm -hmm. We did get Dolph. Mm -hmm. We do get a substitute for that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he, the Baldy is another guy who's trying to track Keanu Reeves down yeah. and chop his head off. And he uh, he's, he kills Ice T's friend and is going to kill Ice T. And mm -hmm. then Keanu Reeves saves him. And he's like, we're even. It's done. Of yeah. course, they're not even. We'll no, see him again. Right. It's the, the enemy of uh, your enemy is my friend. Yeah. Or whatever. Oh, yeah. So, um, shall be seen later in heaven. And I believe that Dina Meyer's character was it Jane or Jade? Jane. Jane. I, yeah, it's Jane. I thought her Jade a few times, but it's Jane. It's Jane. Okay. 
Because I think in the story, she's Molly. Molly, Molly. Million. Yeah. yeah. She's the one with like the... Nice. I just remember her description. I think she has like... Uh, Ocular implants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort, yeah. Like and she silver has razor mirror. blades under her Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah. She's a neuromancer, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, but the rights to her were sold with one of the other stories. Mm-hmm. So they couldn't put her in Damn. there. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would have been cooler. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there should have been more like I wanted Borg people. Like, yeah, into this, see more this modifications. And yeah, stuff, yeah, more modifications is what I want. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, because when you get out of it. I mean, I guess like the whole thing is trying to say like you know body modification. Like everybody who has it in this movie suffers in some way. Yes, uh, and so that's but bad it's all for but you. it's also it's like you have to. It's but it's also like you have to get it in order to survive the NAS that you have. Like getting the because I think it that was. It? I think, well, I think Dina Meyer, I don't think the implants cause it. I think they're just getting it from all the technology that is happening around them. But isn't it but part I think, of the stuff that's in your body? Because the low I think that's, you know how um, Iron Man 2, the palladium in his chest is poisoning him, but it's mm-hmm. also keeping him alive. I think it's the same thing yeah, here. Yeah, it's almost, uh, like, it's almost mm-hmm. like radiation poisoning. Yes, but they and they also yeah. get the implants to help with that, but it also hurts them in the long run as yeah. well. Never okay. thought I'd be referencing Iron Man 2 <laughs> <laughs> on the podcast, but there we are. So I think it's a yeah. One okay. So so all right. So then Henry Rollins. Yeah. Okay. So that's how because she knows uh, uh, J Dog. What was his name? Sorry. Was J Bone? Spider. No. J Bone. J Bone. J Bone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And she also knows Spider yes. because uh, he's the one jacking her up and keeping her going. Because I guess the, the thing is like, you know, Johnny's trying to figure out well, how can I get this stuff out of my head? You know, the pressure right. is so much mm-hmm. and it's giving him he's seizures. he's got 24 hours. Right. Well, so, less now, but all. yeah. And so, because she lets him sleep and he gets all pissed off mm-hmm. at that, right? When they're in the subway tunnel as they're making Yeah, and it. we haven't talked about the fact that like the shakes in this are full on seizures. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like they're flailing. They but, <laughs> but in a way, because Dina Meyer can Dina Meyer. Off. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's, it's just a, uh, I can't describe It's a very quiet, just. But her arms uh, always have to be like uh, above her head, though. She never right, puts yeah. her arms down. They're always like above her head. And it, it's just this flail yeah, looks so it, unnatural. It and, looks like something you'd see on SNL. Yeah. yeah. It does. It's, it's like, like body playing. comedy. Yeah. Yeah. And they also give her lines to deliver while she's like in mid seizure. <laughs> you know, like. No, just, Spider can help. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what it's like. It's pretty much like that. Yeah. Is Are God. we supposed to get then like her, her mind is still working fine, but her body is what's freaking yes. out. That's yeah. like even dumber if that's what it is supposed <laughs> yeah. to be. So it's like yeah. she can still speak. Yeah. It's just, you know, her body's... Remember in Ace Ventura when he's getting hit by the darts that are making him slowly go paralyzed and he's just like flailing about? Three darts is too much. <laughs> that's, what we're, that's what we're watching her do right now. <laughs> Basically, yes. Like, well, did, did Keanu Reeves pull it off any better? A little, but not much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but not, not much. much. His... <laughs> Because he does do it. He gets a few moments in this where it does feel like he's going over the edge, which mm-hmm. is uh, much appreciated based on his previous acting in this sure. movie. Yeah. The um, the previously mentioned uh, laundered shirts monologue, which yeah. is what yeah. I'm yeah. going to call it now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That was good. That was, it was like it was. That's, that's what I want. That's a yeah. scene in every yeah. movie where Keanu Reeves, like when he gets super stressed out, he like it's like he he keeps it all bottled in and then oh, yeah. unloads. It was a free pizza. It's <laughs> that moment, you know. And I like that because I yes. feel like that's pretty true to life, <laughs> right? He's like he's like my whole life I've been minding my business, doing my own thing, and now I've got to save the fucking world. All I want is room service, and I'm like I understand that. Yeah. <laughs> You yeah. mind your own business and bad shit happens. Yeah, that's his better acting. Like, that's when he gets to that level. I like that, mm-hmm. Keanu Reeves. Yeah, me too. Because he gets to freak out a little bit. I yes, guess. Mm-hmm. A, and he's good at that. He, um, at some point, I think, in route to, we get a, like, a, there is, like, a uh, internet sequence where he has to actually put on the, uh, <laughs> the, virtual, the reality. Virtual, yeah. virtual reality headgear and go into, they break into Bob's, like, Crazy, it's crazy Bob's, yeah. Crazy Bob's computer store, yeah. And then and he's I need gotta, a, he's got to go touch the internet. <laughs> yeah, the Sino twenty twenty, the hacker dumb something something. There's so, so whatever much gibberish. And there's in so it. much shit that they have to put together to build a computer so he can actually get on the internet yeah. mm-hmm. to try and like download make a long distance phone call. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on his iPhone. Oh, yeah, because no. he's trying to get this code right that it's maybe it's stored in the fax yeah. copier's buffer, you know, memory yeah. buffer. Yeah. 
Um, and this all looks like Windows Media Player skins, like yeah. the custom skins you could download for it. Yeah, it is kind of cool though, because uh, I guess it has that kind of what avatar or whatever. Uh, In the like you're yes. moving, you're you manipulating objects yeah. with the Again, gloves. I like this. Yeah. This yeah. is yeah, cool. I like this the visuals. Yeah, I like the visual, fun. and they can Everything's be tactile, shiny and chrome and yeah, uh, reflective. <laughs> yeah, very shiny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And that doesn't work out, so then we... There is a Valhalla in this movie. Mm-hmm. That's, That's true. true. Yep. That's true. And they go to... And now Black and Chrome maybe is the new version. The I, it is. is. You're right. Yeah. You're right. And now we have a Black and Chrome version of this. Mm-hmm. Um, Let's stop so, making uh, that <laughs> comparison yeah. right now. One of the greatest action movies ever made. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's when, well, they seek the attention of uh, Henry Rollins. He yes. plays mm-hmm. a character Spider. called Spider. Spider. Uh, and who is he? He's a doctor. Okay. He's Henry Rollins. Yeah, yeah he's Henry. He, he, For most it's of Henry this. Rollins playing Henry Rollins. Yes, like and then Henry Rollins becomes a doctor. <laughs> and they're not even like, they're not even being subtle about it. He literally screams a monologue at Keanu no, about like the, the media controlling him and yes. the, all they that hired stuff. him because yeah. he is Henry Rollins. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, well, like, oh, yeah. you'd be perfect for this. It did yeah. feel exactly like the uh, scene in Demolition Man with Dennis Leary. Yeah, you when, know, it's when like, he oh. tries does his type five on yeah, yeah. yeah on yeah. diet yeah. and free and freedom of choice. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Um, and so there's a, a cryptic message, I think, like that the fax was being sent to a Dr. Alcum. So he's like, mm-hmm. you know, Dr. Alcum? And he's like, well, Alcum, Dr. Alcum is like, that's how you secretly page all of your doctors, Dr. Alcum to room 37 or yeah. whatever. And I'm like, it's that's, basically like a code red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's stuck with me ever since I saw this movie. I'm, I'm always listening for Dr. Alcum and I never hear it. So, oh, so if you hear that in a hospital, sometimes yeah, you're just like, like, oh, I got to find the doctors. Something's yeah. going down. They're all going to. I don't, I don't think that's a real thing. No, nah, probably not. <laughs> but anyway, it turns out that that was, he's part of the low tech movement. And so it was meant to be delivered to uh, his group. Yes. And he's got to get it to uh, yeah. J-Bone. Because J Bone has a satellite dish up in heaven. That's not the only thing he has, Colin. It's not the only thing he has. Up there in heaven is the nerve center of this whole resistance, we'll say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and it is controlled by Jones. And Jones were told because this is the thing when when Henry Rollins is like, "Man, I'm not going to be able to get this out of your head." I'm going to have to use forceps and a drill and all that. <laughs> yeah, and you may lose. Yeah, you yeah. may lose a lot. Yeah. Your only hope is to go to heaven and consult with Jones. Mm-hmm. Jones was in the Navy, but they <laughs> jacked up with his head so much that now he's a special case up there that does computer stuff or whatever. I love this. I, <laughs> but I just put the Navy part because I heard yeah. the Navy part yeah. before I met Jones, and yeah. now it's very funny. I love <laughs> how everyone is purposely not telling him what he's about to see. Yep, yep. Yeah. I love it so much. And they yeah. say too that Jones can like do sonar to penetrate like submarines and yes, yeah. that's what he used to yeah. do. Yeah, Which yeah, is yeah. important. He was comes hacking back later, computers yes. through the hulls of uh, yep. enemy Submar- submarines. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Because who is Jones? He's a goddamn dolphin. Yep. <laughs> yep. Goddamn dolphin. A mul- yeah, a modified cy- a, cyborg dolphin. A like cyborg a, dolphin. It has like what looks like Cerebro from X Men, like on yeah. top Just of its little dolphin head. Yeah. yeah. What was that like? Uh, the device that would pop up. The like was scanner it, thing. Yeah. Out, was it out of its head or out of the helmet? I, I feel I oh probably out of his blowhole, which yeah. would make more sense. Yeah. It's kind of it's that little thing in Short Circuit Two that Johnny Five has popped yes. out of his head that makes him control electronic yes. things. It's basically that. Mm-hmm. Well, this is where the final showdown is going to occur. That I guess because Johnny, there is a dolphin mind ray in this movie. Yeah. I just wanted to shout that out. No, that that is, we yeah. see that we uh, see, yes. yeah, kind of like in Dark City when those guys yeah. Were, yeah. it's yeah. like wah, that. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. yeah, and like. I mean, good. This is an animatronic dolphin. We should say not a real one, but like, <laughs> well, good for them for not torturing this a real dolphin. This was also an animatronic you know Keanu Reeves, and not yeah. a real one. <laughs> that's true. So, no, case. Okay, it's no. just the duplicate. Yeah. No Remember they say that later. Yeah. That's very true. He's yeah. doubling himself. Yeah. No, no Ke- that was no. just the double. Don't yeah. worry. Yeah. No Keanu Reeves were harmed in the making. No. Of this movie. Oh. I know. Thank God. The movie becomes. I mean, this is where you get your full-on lawnmower man CG. <laughs> yes. You know. He has to go into cyberspace. The dolphin's yeah. going to help him out. It, the dolphin <laughs> goes into cyberspace with him. Yeah, the and they tag team. In his internet brain. Yeah. Because yeah. they have to work together. In his internet mind palace, yes. To get it yeah. out. Does this stuff, I mean. I mean if you were going to ask if does this stuff make sense? No, I guess how <laughs> does it like. When I look at, you know, older movies, special effects, I sit there yes. and have like a kind of like. 
you know, for the craftsmanship or whatever. Even Godzilla stomping over little model, you know, Tokyo. <laughs> right. And you appreciate it. Okay. There's, so, a little, there's a couple Tokyo models in this movie, too. But are, Well, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. With the rear projection, mm-hmm. like, yeah. street in the yeah. middle. Uh, of the I, saw, I saw a helicopter wobble yeah. as it yeah. was landing, so. <laughs> but how does, like, this era's CG, like, I mean, now are you kind of, are you nostalgic for it? Oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. absolutely. Yeah? Yes. Absolutely. Because, especially, specifically with us, we grew up. Watching this develop, yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. Developing with the internet. Yeah. So we saw it at these early stages, and obviously we're here now and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So seeing stuff like this, it's just like, holy shit. Yeah. It did used to kind of be like this. <laughs> yep. Not yeah. in this way, literally, obviously, but it mm-hmm. did used to be like this. Mm-hmm. Everything was blocky and those colors and Garish. the way things just... move. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Yeah. Guess, so does it still work? I mean, would you be able to... Like, yes, because have... like I've said, my child brain goes back there, and he's For in me, there touching yeah. the internet. Yeah. and just like, yeah. Ooh. Would it would it work for someone watching it brand new right now? Probably not. No, so you can't do yeah. the nostalgia version of this where like some filmmaker goes, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do the low tech version of this. We're going to do it like they did it in the 90s. Like now? a now movie doing <laughs> yeah. it. Ah. And they're like, we're going to use. It depends on the context. Okay. It, it really does. Cause you got to have a purpose to do it. Otherwise, you're yeah. just going to piss people off. And they're going to think it looks horrible. And yeah. Shit. So it's, you have to be intentional and your audience has to know you're intentional. For example, it. the new Chip and Dale movie. Oh, did they, they had, do a '90s. They like, had VR? like original animation, and oh, yeah, they, they had did. the 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 new. I got the CGI surgery. The new CGI yeah. surgery. Yeah. yeah, that shit was funny. That was very funny. <laughs> so it can be done. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um. So I guess this. Uh, there's a big fiery climax as the Yakuza. Uh, well, I was going to say descend, but they ascend, <laughs> to, ascend heaven. to heaven. Yeah. Everybody ends up on this fucking thing. They yeah. interrupt it's, the transfer. Turns out it's not that hard on. to get in there. No. Yeah. So when they're first, fighting with uh, uh, bows and arrows. So we we resolve we resolve our three uh, villains all like in short order. So yeah, it's pretty um, quick. Uh. Takahashi shows mm-hmm. up first and just right. gets shot like multiple times, I think, right. because, well, he's the one that you're like, is he going to have a change of heart? Because, you know, the, yeah. the big ghost face lady That's shows talking up to him and says you, they could have c- cured your daughter, but they didn't. And he's got it in his head and he can save the world. Johnny's having a crisis because he's like, I was all about me and just minding my own business. But and now I have now to, to talk to the fucking the world. dolphin. And yeah. yeah. Um, I like that at one point he literally just like throws his hands up. Yep. That that was the like, best part. He's just like, he's just like oh, I'm fucking done. Let's just talk to the goddamn dolphin. Let's do this. I'm like, yes. which I like, love that. but when you live in a world where you have like hard drive installed in your head to smuggle data, is like a dolphin doing this really that like out I'll, of the uh, yeah. ordinary? Like, sure. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say still yes. Even I have though, a hard time buying even, it. Though, even though the world is the way it is in this movie, yeah. yes. Well, it's it's like in uh, it's like in the Avengers movie when Scarlett Johansson's talking about like about aliens are anything. She's like, I get emails from a raccoon. Yeah, I just, yeah. Yeah. it is yeah. what it is. It's very true. <laughs> well, uh, with him with Ta- uh, Takahashi out of the way, so that's like your your top level boss. Then you get mid level boss, mm-hmm. uh, the guy with the glowing you know razor wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, he ends up getting a taste of his own razor wire. He does. They yeah. eventually fall into their uh, uh, hanging situation. So yeah. they're fighting over the claw. And Keanu gets him. it and whips it around his neck. And whoosh. It's yeah. awesome. It's Very good. Cool. It's good. Pretty yeah. Great. Nice That's to see that dummy fall, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Love that. And then the street preacher shows up. He's oh, been torturing no. his way basically through the cast. I think he killed Henry Rollins, tortured him. And, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. On his way. There the, was a fight. The poor yeah. barman that he yeah. like, uh, froze you know, his hand and smashed. Oh, yeah. that always makes my stomach turn a little bit. Which I bit. didn't think there was hand underneath there. I thought it was but a there, robot hand. No, I yeah. thought it was a, well, I thought it was a full robot hand. Yeah, yeah. and then there's hand yeah. under there. And I was yeah. like, oh. Yeah. I yeah. thought that was his bionic replacement. Yeah. yeah. Modified. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, Everything's modified, no replacements. Yeah. Well, he, you know, of course, he shows up and it's like, oh my God, how are we going to do deal with this? Johnny and uh, Jane are taking him on. Yeah. And then... Uh, there's, not, there's nine inch nails in this movie. There are. Yeah. yeah. He, he crucifies people. He does. Mm-hmm. She's got nails on her. And I can't remember how they actually beat him. I remember him falling he gets down. Electrocuted. They, oh, they electrocuted him. The That's dolphin. Right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yep, oh, yep, yeah. Yep, the dolphin, dolphin like, 
<laughs> yeah, the, his sonic waves that can penetrate the hulls of submarines. Right. Plus, he's got rips implants through. and everything, and that's yeah, what like Jesus, rips yeah. through his implants. Yes. Yeah. 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 And basically burns him from the inside out. Yeah. Not yeah. A bad, uh, not and a bad then he idea. grabs some wires and he dies yeah. Michael Myers resurrection style. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Just burn hanging on wires, crisp. burned mm-hmm. to a crisp, yep. frying. And he does burn to a crisp and falls down. He mm-hmm. does. He does. That's right. In this uh, whole thing, a uh, part of the puzzle is that uh, uh, Takahashi actually does give Johnny the third, or the sorry, the second. The second. Yeah, that's his redemption. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. now so his got, character is redeemed, yeah. I guess. So now they've even. got two thirds of the code and they just need the dolphin to get the third one. Yeah. And so we go back into cyberspace and pick up where we left uh, off. And then there's viruses that are attacking and uh, oh, security. Yeah. Yeah. Because now it was like he was trying to download the thing, but now he's trying to hack it. Yeah. Hack from, his own mind. Yeah. He's got to he's gotta hack his brain, but he's got to uh, do it through Jones. What did they say? He's got to. He's a like he's broadcaster. A loop, it. loop it through Jones. Loop it through yeah. Jones. Yeah. 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 out to the yeah. satellite. A lot of stuff where they're just saying it and there's no like technical anything behind it. They're like, right. you just got to loop it through them and then bring it down and, and shove it out into the world. It's like just bullshit words. Yeah. Okay. I, honestly, like while we're watching, I'm like, this is me writing a paper. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot like the end of Virtuosity where it's like Denzel's just going to pull this thing out of his arm and plug it in and yeah. it's done. It's, yeah. It just yeah. makes yeah. sense. Yeah, it just, he said it yeah. was happening. Yeah. It's yeah. happening. So it's all I need. I'm, I'm, I'm tortured by a question oh. here and yeah. I'm sure that this is like an easy answer. Does this keep but, you up okay. at night? Well, I mean, it might. It okay. Might. Oh, you're okay. going to answer it for me. So okay. that's why yeah, I'm going to sleep it. tonight. Okay. So Johnny gets 300 gigabytes loaded into a 160 gigabyte storage yeah. device. Yeah. It's Even causing him pushing it. great pain because yeah. he can't find the download key to unlock it and get the data out. Okay. Right. right, right because right. this is 1995 and I think we don't know how computers actually work. <laughs> Very so true. later he's like, I don't even care, you know, what it is, blah, blah, blah. I just want it out. And you're like, why don't they just delete it? Because when you download it, you make a copy. You don't actually mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like physically remove anything from your brain. You it's just password protected. They is that why you can't delete? Can't. I think he. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, this is us putting this into the movie, but <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there's probably some reason. The same way he needs a code to download it and unlock it and all that stuff. And how everyone keeps telling him, we can get it out of your brain. You're going to lose your eyesight and probably movement and a couple toes, but, yeah, but we can get it out of there to, for you. Well, they're like, we, yeah, we're going to take the whole unit out. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Why can't you just delete it? I know that would fuck up your plot because you well, got to save think, the world with right. the cure. Well, plus at this point, there has been significant seepage. I think it would just kill him at this point. Because yeah. if he, they're deleting everything, I imagine just I like the information tendrils yeah. through his brain. And so I think that's a big it, part of the code is like you can't access it and you can't get rid of it without the code. Okay. I'm going to go with that. Otherwise, no I mean, sleeping. I mean, please don't let it keep you up. At night. <laughs> right. Um, Just go with that with answer, it. Colin. I don't want 3 a.m. texts. I mean, yeah, that's what about I'm Johnny Mnemonic. Next so, week, it's going to be red string all down. The <laughs> here, Colin trying to piece it together. Yeah. <laughs> well, listener, we're not going to keep you in. It's, next week, it's going to be like Colin's going to be like, I figured out how to upload my consciousness to my car. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've been yes. working on that. So, you know, we'll, we'll which wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> it's like, Alexa, access my brain. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> oh no! No, she wasn't oh, listening. Okay. She, wasn't she listening, missed it. God. She only listens to me. Yeah. No, I don't know. That's true. <laughs> the first so, step. Uh, Colin's well, eyes start glowing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, like I said, not to keep you in suspense, this actually works, and they are able to, with the dolphin's help, free Johnny's <laughs> mind and upload the information yeah. to the world and save the world and save the world. So now the cure is uh, accessible to everyone. Everyone will be saved, and. Uh, Johnny and Jane look off into the distance as the Pharmacon burns. I was like, as New York City burns. As New York yeah. City burns. <laughs> like, how did releasing, are we supposed to imagine that people inside there turn on it and set it on fire? Or, That's or what I think. just the release of the information <laughs> from a just different part of the of the, of the city That's, started the building That's on what fire. I want, but the first <laughs> thing you said is what I think. So there we go. Well, at the beginning of the movie, we see like the riots in China, and that's yes. outside the... the um, the Pharmacom building in Beijing. Mm. So I'm guessing now that this message has gone out to the public saying, hey, they've had the cure all along and they've kept it from you. I think this is people rioting and, yes, and burning, burning. Yes. the place yes. down. Yes, I think that's what it is. But okay. again, your second explanation, I like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan of that one. Just like hit that button. It's like, oh, the information got out. Self-destruct. Yeah. <laughs> Burn it all down. Which may be, who knows? Yeah. So it ends with the sun coming up and all that, and uh, I guess there was a fire, kind of. There was explosions. At it's, least, uh, it's very Fight Club. Big uh, 
cluttered 90s sex. Fight Club ripped off this movie. I'm saying it now. <laughs> the do ending. You, All right, sure. <laughs> what, do you guys remember full motion video video games? Does that FMV video games? No. Okay. No, so these are weird words. When, when computers today. were new. No, that's not true. <laughs> so in, in the 90s, right, when you had these CD-ROMs, and, like, they got the idea that, hey, we can actually, like, make a movie and put it on a disc, but it's, like, branching, uh, you know, chapters or whatever. And they did a bunch of them. Some of them were shooters, but they all had, like, live video. Mm-hmm. And one of them was Sounds Johnny right. Mnemonic. It was tied in with this movie. Really? So they used the sets. Like, so this video crew went and shot. So they cast, like, everybody was cast different, but it's huh. all the same characters. And it was Johnny Mnemonic, and you can play it. Available now for MS-DOS 6. No, I don't know, mm. Windows 3.95. <laughs> I'm going to have to, yeah, yeah. have to YouTube this yeah. later and see Oh, yeah, I bet somebody's yeah. just somebody's, put, like, Oh, yeah, somebody played whole, through it. Yeah. It's probably all on there. Yeah, it's probably all in someone's. But mind. I remember when they went to heaven, it was like, oh, that's the fucking sets from the movie. That's the fucking nice. dolphin in this game. Better be. I don't remember, yeah. but I think He's so. Important. Yeah. yeah, he has to be. I just want to reiterate that a dolphin saves the day in Johnny yep. Mnemonic. Yep. yep, in a dolphin that goes into the internet. Yep. An internet <laughs> dolphin. But is that just... enough to make you need to see this movie? Mm, that is the question. That is we'll the find question. Out. Well, we're going to find out. All right. Yeah. So first of all, we're going to read some of your mail. And to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman from cyberspace. Igor, <laughs> bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. How much hard drive space do you think we could fit in, Igor? <laughs> Ooh, Wait. lots. Yeah. I bet he's, he's got, got a lot just, of like I openings he's got, like, and crevices, empty pockets you know? of air in yeah. there. Like, he just yeah. takes floppy disks. Oh. Uh, yeah, he, <laughs> he, he, yeah, he's on like 256 megabytes. Yeah. That's yeah. all he's got in there. Yeah. Can't even open a PDF with that. No, not yeah. a good courier. <laughs> That's why he does physical mail because oh, he can't that, transport he can't it take within it. his body. Nah, that explains it. Now he it all makes sense. Upgraded. Yes. No. Yeah. No, you stay uh analog. You stay analog there. He's a dial-up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we should let the good folks at home know how they can participate in this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. They can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or they can follow along on face or Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. I Come to the internet. Come yeah. to the internet. I <laughs> hope one of you who writes in has the ability to manipulate the internet like Johnny Mnemonic did in this movie to in order to make an email. Like, like the I, power I, gloves? That, that would yeah. be great. Yeah, I want to yeah. put on some power gloves and type out an email yeah. in cyberspace. That would be super cool. <laughs> oh. I'm sure you can do something like that with like the... Um, What's the VR headset? The Oculus, you know? Sure. Yeah. I'm sure there's yeah. something like that, yeah. I know. This is the time. you got to bring it back. we got to have, like, Johnny Mnemonic 2 in VR. Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. Oh, it would be just be called in VR. <laughs> well, about tonight's movie, Johnny Mnemonic Karate Warrior 2 writes in and says, uh-huh. what's the best executed tech plus brain slash memory movie concept? Yeah, um, the Cell? Mm, the, the Cell's report, really good. Uh, the Spielberg movie. Uh, Minority Report? Yes. Mm. Brain Scan? Nah, probably not. Well, Dreamscape? That's like The Cell. The Cell cell is a really good one. The Cell's the most entertaining. Just Lawnmower Man. That's my Mm -hmm. answer for everything. Okay. All right. I guess Inception falls under that too, right? It's tech plus and memory? Yeah. 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 I'll go with that. I love Inception. Inception's a great movie. Uh, B-Movie Vault says, I grabbed a copy of this about six years ago, planning to screen it at 2 a.m. for a 24-hour home marathon. I was hoping my friends wouldn't murder me for inflicting it on them, but it got bumped for Killdozer. Aww. And to this date, I've yet to watch it, but before listening to it on The Freak Show. <laughs> and if it's terrible, he's going to watch it before uh, listening to The Freak Show. And if it's terrible, I will have to badmouth you on my podcast. And he had a winking face emoji. <laughs> I mean... Bad, bad can mean a lot of things, you know. <laughs> uh, dolphin mind ray. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, That's really all you got to say right, right there. But yeah. again, is that enough? We'll find out. Uh, Michael Whitaker says they only missed a few key details of what the real twenty twenty one would be like. <laughs> Otherwise, it's totally accurate. No, wait, I got a better one. Much like the real twenty twenty one, it's best if we try and forget Johnny Newman. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the, there was a lot of things I, like, Holly, I agree. You're like, well, they're not wrong. Like, <laughs> Yeah. 
Uh, Novato Judoka says, I grew up knowing about this movie all my life, yet I never pulled the trigger on watching it. So finally, I've got an excuse to watch it. The time has come. <laughs> the time has come. Happy to help. All right. We're going to get all the comments uh, on this <laughs> next. I'm surprised, actually. I thought, you know, Johnny Mnemonic. Uh, well, I guess it's what. I think it's one of those movies like me. I had never seen this, but I had heard a lot about yeah. it. And yes. I had seen clips. So I feel like that's everyone's kind of experiences. They've heard about weird things from it. But All right. Uh, well, let us know uh, what, what you thought of it. Dolph Lundgren was still a surprise. <laughs> uh, last week, we watched a movie called Death Spa. And Michael Whitaker wrote in and said, it's a movie about computers and spas, apparently written by someone who didn't understand how either one of them worked. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's yep. solid. Yeah. yeah, they were piping in steam. and yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. Yep. Well, we, we published an a image to our socials, which you can check out. I'm sorry, was this the socials. asparagus image? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> and Aaron sorry. Dawn, that. Sorry. Murphy's mom says, sweet Lord, that's one of the top three best scenes in the movie, but still. And yep. uh, <laughs> that's a lot to look at. And she said, Death Spa is absolutely better than killer workout. It's yes. got a hilarious yeah. football scene, creepy asparagus eating, death by weight machine. It still has everything. Yep. Yeah, for yes. sure. For sure. Uh, the wild movie. Uh, this is true. You got to listen to that episode. Uh, the previous week, we watched a movie called The Witch Who Came from the Sea. Travis Legler wrote in because we said that that movie had been banned in Britain as mm -hmm. part of the video nasties. He says, ah, the video nasties. I kind of miss those days. Nowadays you can find anything. You don't really have to search that hard. Granted, that's nice, but it's always kills the fun of finding and seeing that thing. You shouldn't watch. Yeah, that's why we the do thrill this show. Of the hunt is fun. Yeah. That's why we do this. Mm -hmm. Just like stuff We're you'd never, <laughs> stuff you'd never, <laughs> stuff you'd never hear, hear of or see or, <laughs> or even think about dolphin, death rays in this just that's the reason we've we've that i think or at least that's what we're chasing on this show let's yeah. put it that way yeah we're, we're deep diving yes we're chasing the high but of i mean we're chasing, uh, we're chasing the house uh, high of dolphin death rays <laughs> but the stuff that you shouldn't watch the forbidden stuff it's mm. too easy to find it now maybe is that what he's saying yeah i mean yeah like they so don't you know, if they ban something you can find it on the internet like mm. 20 minutes later like there's nothing that's kept from you like i'm a guardian at this point as a parent like that's <laughs> If, yeah, everything's readily available. It mm. is that sense of discovery, I think, has gone down a lot. You had mm -hmm. to work for it. Yes, to... there is oh, the work for it. Yeah. And hide mm -hmm. it. Yeah. No, you, yeah. Then the kids these days don't have to drive their bike five miles to go <laughs> rent a video <laughs> of something that he, they know their parents name. would not let and them watch. And they have to put it inside a jacket for a different video <laughs> that their parents would approve of <laughs> yeah. to yeah. get it in the house. Yeah. Yeah. There's, I there's, may or may not have done that a few times. Kids today. Yeah. yeah there's so much, so much. I mean, they do. Yeah. Uh, Scraw793 says that scene with the two football players at the beginning I found hard to get through. What a bizarre <laughs> ending. I couldn't tell if long oh, well, was, we're going to spoil the witch who came yeah. from the sea here. Mm. Uh, so spoiler alert. Um, but he says uh, I couldn't tell if Long John was being altruistic sparing Molly from prison by helping her into the void or he had made up his mind that she was stone cold fucking nuts and had to die. No, I think he was more sympathetic towards her. Yeah, I think they all were at the like. end of that. Mm -hmm. Isn't it both? She's like he's, she's stone full, uh, stone cold yeah. fucking nuts, but he feels sympathy for her. Yeah, so. it yeah. Could be both. He is in kind of he is in a shock at the mm -hmm. end of that movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think everybody is considering how yeah. it ends. <laughs> uh, Spags Getty, Spags all right. writes in about the it's witch who came faster. to the sea because we mentioned that George Buckflower. Mm -hmm is in the movie, was the casting director, and his daughter is in the movie. Mm -hmm. yes. And Spags Getty remembers George Buckflower as Pappy Nyquist from the movie Berserker about a crazy killer Viking from 1987. This I'm, is a movie that I've heard a lot about that we should probably watch I was like, point. I've never heard of this. We need to watch this. Yeah. Yeah. He is not the Berserker, I don't think. I don't know. But I don't know much about it. Just the premise of this know. movie alone, I'm intrigued. <laughs> yeah, by, I just so. know that this is somebody released yeah. it on Blu-ray not too long yeah, ago. I'm and intrigued. The, people say it's wild. Mm -hmm. And uh, we described. I think we were saying we were watching The Witch Who Came from the Sea and described it. And Carson Snar said, "Gross, no thank." <laughs> <laughs> uh, Understand. Honestly, after seeing the movie, I get it. <laughs> yeah, I like that review. <laughs> All right, well, now we're going to go around the table and tell you about tonight's movie, Johnny Mnemonic, starting with... Me! I go first tonight. Um, uh, Johnny Mnemonic. I'm going to say 
I'm going to say I don't recommend this movie. I have no beef with this movie. Let's put it that way. I'm perfectly fine with this movie existing. Again, Dolphin Death Ray. There, there, there is, there are moments in this movie. I was just aggravated by like, I don't know, the editing or the story or something like that. Something that's just, you can feel like it was been, it's been cut up. Um, some decisions I don't understand. The positives of this though, uh, when Keanu Reeves gets pissed off, it's great. When he's when he's going nuts, it's fun, and I love that. Um, I mean, other than that, no, nah, yeah, no, I just I don't. I'm not feeling it. There's some really outrageous stuff in here. I'd I, I, I'd love to know what Dolph Lundgren thinks of this movie. He, if he even remembers it, he should. He's killer G. He's assassin mm-hmm. Jesus. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's a tough one. Again, I don't think you should spend your time on this. Watch clips on the internet. That'd be fun. Maybe. But, yeah, it's not quite good enough. I don't know. It's it's an odd movie for me. Again, not a real big beef with it, but I don't think you should spend your time on it. So I'm going to pass on Johnny Mnemonic. Colin, what do you think? Well, I mean, when I, my first reaction to seeing it was not favorable, Mm. you know, when I saw it in the theater, uh, and this was at the time when all this stuff was, was cracking, you know, what was was the trailer like for this movie? Like what, how much did it tell you? That is a good, the trailer's fantastic. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah? It's a lot of, yeah. Is this, what was existence? Cause that's like around this time too, right? Like that's been on my list for forever to bring. There's all That's this, like, yeah, 97, 98, right? Yeah, I mean, this was the yeah. era where mm-hmm. we were just doing all this stuff. But the the graphics to me, it, you know, turned me off. Even then, it was like, okay, I get that you can do, you know, people melting or you know these all this this graphic, you know, computerized mm-hmm. graphics. You know, did the lawnmower man did it better or hideaway? The end of hideaway has a lot of it. You know, it's like. I don't know. It it doesn't look good to me now. Uh, you know, <laughs> I have get, a noodle man playing with the internet. Yeah. That's what the end of this movie yeah, yeah, felt yeah, like. Yeah, right. Because he elongates. <laughs> he was a noodle man. Yeah. He's just he's like macaroni and cheese man. Mm-hmm. Noodle man. He is a noodle man. The internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With his dolphin pal. Yeah. I don't know. I guess that stuff doesn't work for me. Mm. Uh, but I did like Keanu Reeves like uh, pantomime version of. Yeah, like, I still like the, that. Yeah. The computer that was kind of cool. That's like the Minority Report thing. Yes. I guess. Mm-hmm. Um. And I did think like the first act of the movie on rewatch, I'm like, the first act is actually pretty solid. I'm like, am I going to recommend this movie? And I don't know. You know what? I might. I know this is kind of like, because there's a lot to dislike about it because it does feel choppy and it feels weird. And I think there's subplots that could be deleted and it's kind of messy, but maybe I just like this stuff. Mm. Uh, And then from that era, this might be the one I'd be like, Okay, here's a sampling of what we were doing, and you know, computers and the internet in nineteen other uh, Hollywood. How they, we right. know, how we were representing this stuff. Uh, this might be the one I'd be like, okay, Johnny Mnemonic. You watch that one, and you, you got it covered. <laughs> you know? I mean, and the messaging seems a little clearer in this one. Yeah, I, I yeah. think that's a big help yeah. to it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I guess I'm tough, gonna, right? I'm gonna recommend. I can't believe I'm doing this because. <laughs> I did like it more tonight watching it with the, you know, the distance, the 20, you know, 30 year distance yeah. or whatever. On. If you ever want to remember what 2020, 2021 was like, yeah. you need to go back to this movie. It's the time awful. capsule of Johnny Mnemonic. Yeah. And I mean, the Dolph Lundgren thing, like him being in the movie, w- the first time I saw it, like almost took me out of it. <laughs> but this time it's like, oh, I get it. Like this, he's actually one of the better, you know, parts of it. Yes. Ice-T, I think, like I knew who he was. And so... That took me out of it. And this mm. time I'm like, oh, no, he's actually pretty good mm-hmm. in that part. And uh, when was that uh, tank girl? Uh, that had to have been around this time. Yeah, that's too, like right? when he, he's like, I'm just going to do Law and Order TV shows yep. after that. <laughs> yeah. Trespass is another good one with him. Um, yeah, and Keanu's fine and all that stuff. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm going to recommend Johnny Mnemonic. It kind of in, in uh, spite of myself. Michaela, would you? <laughs> <laughs> you don't watch that black and white version? I don't. Well, I I'm would curious have, now. Yeah, I would have, but the I curiosity. think watching it tonight, tonight is, is pretty much I, like I, I want to know what the, all those computer graphics look like without all the garish color. Oh, I know. Yeah. yeah, like I'm curious. Um, so I, I'm not a fan of Keanu Reeves. I personally <laughs> don't understand the internet's fascination with him. I just, I don't get it. I find him to be 
the same thing in every movie and that is unemotional and kind of bland and stone faced and it just doesn't work for me. I don't enjoy it. Um, that being said, Dolphin Death Ray, <laughs> Dolph Lundgren as Assassin Jesus. Go watch the movie. Like, what more the, do you need Dolph's to see habit. than those two sentences? Yeah. So, I mean, go see it. That's all you need to know. Holly, I'm, I definitely recommend it. Holly, what do you think? <laughs> um, I need to paint a picture real quick. All right. So, yeah, you. you so okay. At what 19, point? Okay. So, 1995, this movie comes out. Yes. I would say. Back then, movies coming out was a little different, so I would say oh, maybe... That's right. I, I wanted would, to hear this. Yeah, I, yeah, would yeah. Say, I would say maybe <laughs> maybe six months later, maybe, um, this was in the Dollar Theater, right? Oh, yeah. I remember the uh, in, movies going to the Dollar where, Theater, yeah. Well, okay. Where, where, Imagine a movie no. being in the theater for six months nowadays, first right, of all. that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, back then, it would have been like six yeah. months. months. Yeah, yeah. it would have. That's true. Yeah, so, never will happen again. So, ever. you know, later on, about six months after movies released, it would go to... We had a local Dollar Theater in town, and uh, just what it's called, movies were a dollar. Um, and you know, most most people like that was not around anymore. <laughs> if you can not believe around it, anymore. <laughs> but even back then, like a regular movie was probably like four fifty. That's like, very it wasn't true. Yeah, that, there wasn't but, a big difference. Yeah, but anyway, so uh, my mom took my brother and I. Like this, so this is nineteen ninety five. I was ten years old. My brother was twelve, and all I remember about this movie was about 20 minutes in or so my mom made us leave we walked so, out we walked out of the movie and i don't remember what scene it was or like what what moment in the movie were you clocking it tonight i'm trying to figure it out well i'm guessing it was like 20 minutes okay. i i don't know for sure because just, i don't i don't remember you can't remember a specific reason remember. where your mom would be like no thank you i can't remember at what point it was did you ever ask her no because i, I I'm going to ask her because now I'm curious, but I don't know if she'll remember. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> I mean, how many movies has she walked out of? That's the only thing. This is <laughs> yeah. this is the only movie I have ever walked out uh-huh. of in my life. You this were one walked right here. out. Yeah, but yeah, like you were escorted. I out. I remember my mom. Come on, like, honey, we're better than this. Yeah, I remember my mom looked at my brother and I, and she's like. We're gonna go, <laughs> and I was like, "Okay." So we left. That that is a true mom <laughs> contemplating everything in the world yeah, right now yeah, before yeah. making a decision, and, and just being like, "I can't do this. We're I can't go. do yeah. this." Yeah. Like, I this just, is I have better things to do yeah. with my yeah. day. No, Life's too short for this. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Because you know, I did not grow up in a household that they really monitored what I watched. You know, like you guys know, when I was four, mm. I could quote Caddyshack. Like they didn't. <laughs> they didn't care what i watch it's not the content it's just no. it's the sci-fi so I think it's like very sci-fi knowing my oh, mom <laughs> yeah knowing my mom i can see her watching this and being like this is too weird for me i yeah. can't so i have she to got assume, out before the weird parts yeah i know I, was like, <laughs> I have to assume that's why we left but i'm gonna ask her to see if she remembers is there a dolphin attack in her history? <laughs> I don't think yeah. at all. Like, but no, that's at the end of the movie. Yeah, she would have had to stay for a long time. To that's get at that. the end of the you movie. Never know. We didn't even make it that far. That's when that fucking face, uh, the, the the ghost woman starts talking, I and don't she's know. like, "Oh, right, maybe." She's like, "Oh, this is against <laughs> Jesus. I'm leaving." I was really hoping tonight, watching it, I'd have some yeah, sort trigger. of like trigger, and like I'd remember, but I don't remember. Mm. I don't remember anything about this movie. So I was, <laughs> I was waiting for like the moment of like something really gross or something really violent. And she's like, like mm, I don't like the uh, yakuza at all. <laughs> don't agree with their <laughs> their lifestyle. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna have to ask her because I'm very curious. I, I think it was just too weird for my mom because I know her and it, she doesn't like weird stuff. She got that first taste of the internet. Yeah. And she's like, no, thank you. Like, no, this is not a world I want to live in. <laughs> no. So yeah, this was the only movie I ever watched, and I had not revisited it since. This is my first time watching it since walking out of the theater. Um. And I really didn't know anything. I knew Dolph Lundgren was in it. Um, Did you know the dolphin was in it? I, I remember Michaela saying something about a dolphin. Yeah, that was like the one thing I knew about this movie. Yeah, and, and that was all I knew about it because <laughs> I had never really looked into it very much. Um, so, yeah, this was really my first viewing. And I I understand where Sean's coming from. Um, the, it's so chopped up. The editing is ridiculous. It doesn't really... It doesn't jive. It doesn't really make sense. It's There's just like, something about it. It's just an off storyline. The entire movie. Um, it's very off. It's it's kind of off putting. Um, but there's a fucking dolphin <laughs> with a goddamn ray. Like I yeah. I feel you. Like mm-hmm. they physically go into the internet. Yep. Dolph a dolphin Lundgren. goes into they the do. internet. Yeah, and a then dolphin a dolphin goes, goes in the there internet. too. Yeah. Dolph Lundgren is is Jesus. Yes. A Jesus assassin. Like I Do you think they ever like, it's got my, to... it's it's my responsibility to recommend <laughs> this That's movie. How I, feel I think right? Dolph and the dolphin ever got to like hang out and talk or anything. I hope so. Like just hang out and say, I hope Dolph. so. I get it. 
I agree. There's some slow parts in this. There's some off-putting stuff in this, but those other things that they're enough. I have to right. recommend it. I have to. That's it. I have Bam. to. Bam. Well, all right. Sorry, we couldn't make it unanimous. <laughs> I'll let you know in a week. Like, sometimes you need to marinate on something, but I don't think it's going to happen with yeah. this movie. I'm not saying I don't understand. Right, right. No, no, yeah, I, I do. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I do. Again, it's a tough one. Yeah. yeah. Just got a feeling. We still got a passing grade. Don't worry. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, there you go. There it is. <laughs> um, you may choose to watch Johnny Hopefully Newmark. that sticks in your minds for... <laughs> <laughs> for Wait till the hate future. mail we get <laughs> next week. The one you movie Holly walked out of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then uh, recommend it. <laughs> yeah. So I next was so week, mad until the dolphin. Until that's the, dolphin. the mail for next week. <laughs> All right. Next week is a special oh, occasion. Oh yeah, I forgot. You guys, Ooh. it's a big one. This oh. is big. You guys. Five hundred episodes. Five hundred episodes in year ten. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Michaela. What are we watching? Don't fuck this up. I had no pressure. What are we watching? Only been sweating it for a couple weeks now. <laughs> you um, have been. You've been but sweating yes, it. Uh, I, I've crowdsourced ideas, but you know, like all good things, sometimes something just comes to you and you know oh. that's it. Yeah. We are going to watch Vampire's Kiss oh. from 1988. <laughs> I have no idea what this oh. is. Don't look up anything about it if you know anything about it. All righty. <laughs> okay. okay. Go in as cold as possible. It sounds it like sounds, a freak show movie. It sounds like the it 500th episode. Definitely yep. it a is, freak show I movie. am shocked it has not been done. It took 500 episodes wow. to get this movie. I cannot believe it. All so, right. And Good. Here we, and here we go. All yeah. right. So next, next week for 500 <laughs> Vampires <laughs> Kiss, Kiss. Yes. we hope you'll join us. And until then, the basement is going dark.